And now to discuss this, we're joined by a public affairs analyst, Theophilos Akatuba. Uh, Theophilos, it's nice to have you join us on the news. Uh, so I want to uh, It's a pleasure to join you this afternoon. Uh, good afternoon to you. Uh, okay, so I, I want to believe that you are privy to the report around the repackaging, rebranding, and reselling of government politics that is actually meant for the people. Uh, what do you make of this development in the first place, knowing fully well that we have hardship in Nigeria? It's a very sad, sad development. In fact, it's a very sad situation uh, to, to hear that those that are tasked with the responsibility of distributing relief, palliatives, succor, comforts to citizens who are depressed uh, are, are being made, uh, are being deprived of, 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 of the very important succor that government has provided. Very sad. They, they are such people who do that are liking to, to, to witches and wizards and evil men, you know, ignorant ones who do not know the consequence of intercepting good from those who deserve it. Very painful, very disturbing. So, uh, we're talking about um, social welfare programs on one side, and we are also looking at um, a high level of corruption uh, in the country. And most times, people blame the government for being corrupt, for embezzlement, for siphoning funds. Uh, is it, does it have to do with cultural orientation, a way of life? Uh, is there a way that we can deal with this kind of ideology or practice by Nigerians? When people talk about government, but I wonder, I wonder who they are referring to. I always ask them, are you referring to aliens? The government is made up of Nigerians, our brothers and sisters. So if there is a repackaging of palliative, such wickedness, it means that there is something wrong with our development our human development, the quality is very low. It means that our spiritual development is defective. It means that our moral development is, is, is faulty. That's why the government can never be better than the quality of the citizens. Because it is the citizens who form the government, who are to discharge services to you and I, our brothers, in offices who occupy privileged positions. They are the wicked ones. So there is no way you will elect anyone better than the citizens. It's very painful that there is, it, is, it goes to the very core of the human quality of our people, of ourselves. We are doing poorly. Too many churches, too many mosques, too many homes and places of traditional worship that are churning out wicked people who do not allow the very underprivileged to get the good that they're supposed to get. Very bad. Okay, so what do you think can be done uh, in this situation? Is there a system that can be built, maybe some sort of mechanism, uh, a regulatory body to monitor these kind of interventions to ensure that it gets to the intended recipients? What do you think can be done? Who spoke? EFCC raised condemn. EFCC, um, ICPC. We have enough institutions. We have enough churches. We need to be a bit more godly and have fear of God. Without that, there is there's no number of institutions, no number of check and balance can cure this kind of wickedness where someone who is tasked with the responsibility of taking 10 bags of rice to poor people, the very poor, uh, the poorest of the poor, and uh, along the way, he diverts five bags. He repackages them and takes them to the market to sell them and take the proceeds to his own home to feed his own children and send his children to school or give his children good life. 
is because we are spiritually defective. That's why that person does not know. So it's, it's not about institutions. It's not about creating more. This has been a big problem. That's why Nigerian governments appear never to be functional. That's why the government we've set up always look like, like failures because there are hawks. But people focus on the elected officials only. Uh, they forget does. quickly that the machinery... Uh, Theophilus, you, you actually said um, this solution is not um, institution-based. I, I wonder if it is a religious-based too, because, you know, Nigeria, uh, like other African countries, is said to be one of the most religious entities or bodies uh, in the universe or in the world. But then we still have things like this coming into play. Uh, I want us to speak to more to what um, can be done in, categorically. Now, we have an EFCC in place and FCCPC in place. We have other regulatory bodies. We have the ICPC. Can these bodies be galvanized or used to actually deal with the issue around people who tend to corner uh, palliatives or materials or interventions of government uh, for their own personal gains? Well, we, can, we must continue to try. We must continue to improve on the institutional capacities to catch people who do the divert palliative. Something as remote as you why I tell you about religion. You are talking about religion. No, I'm talking about we have our ways. There were times in our society where people who sell might not come to attend to you, but you will buy, place the money, take your change, and you will not have interruption and intervention of the Western ways of life of the Western form of, of, of religion. We had very solid moral upbringing. Marco? Uh, well, uh, Theophilus, I, I guess um, reception from your end is not um, totally uh, you know, good. It's not optimal. But then we appreciate the fact that uh, we're able to pick one or two things from your contributions. <laughs>